Today we're going to review the Mocha Cam Alpha S 4K Life and Action Cam. I got this uh, today in the mail. I ordered it some time ago, actually on uh, Indiegogo, and uh, so I've been waiting very patiently for nearly a year to get this thing. And uh, their claim is that it is the smallest. 4K action camera in the world. Um, so this is the packaging that it came in. I've been uh, anx anxiously awaiting the arrival of this. Um, and I was one of the very early uh, bird uh, backers of this campaign. And so let's take a look and see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and uh, open this and see, see what we get. This video is going to be the unboxing and uh, the uh, just kind of overall impression, first impressions. And then I'm going to take this, I'm actually going on a, a cruise here in a couple of weeks. So I'm going to follow this up with a, um, a review or a comparison of uh, this camera compared to a few other cameras that I have. All right, so here's the box. Inside the box, we're gonna open it up here. And it says, uh, it's a letter to the Mocha backers, so that's nice. Um, so I'll read that in just a little bit. Uh, we do have a small user manual as well. It shows you the, the buttons and what you need, how everything works. All right, let's see here. We have, uh, so as far as the packaging is concerned, I mean, it's laid in here fairly nice. You can see um, this uh, is fairly inexpensive plastic molding. Um, probably could be a little better, but you know, it's not gonna stay in here very long anyway, so I guess that's okay. All right, in this box here. Let's see. All right. So we have, um, like a fairly standard mount for an action cam, uh, so that's good. Maybe some kind of a lens cap. This is the, um, should be the spare battery. So I was a very early bird. Um, they did provide a few extra things, so this is the uh, spare battery. It is a magnetic battery, so that's kind of cool. Uh, looks like it uh, charges with micro USB. All right. And what do we have here? Uh, looks like a cover to the waterproof case, like the back cover. All right. We also receive. Mocha cam case. Got here. Something inside. Ah, all right. So this, uh, I believe, is the remote for the Mocha cam. It uh, opens up here. Ah, that's where the battery goes. All right. Okay, so uh, it's an on off switch there. Feels like that's the button there. So it must be just like a start and stop button, so we'll figure that out. This is, uh, looks like the flip screen. Let's open this up. That's exactly what it is. And this connects via USB Type C. I did read that the uh, Type C connection is uh, you definitely don't want to plug in a charger to your Type C. 
uh, port on the Mocha Cam itself that it is only for this screen. Uh, this screen also contains another battery. So it uh, does charge here with micro USB as well. It also has uh, a few buttons here on the screen. And then there is the, the dial here and a button on top. All right. What else do we have here? Looks like uh, they include a charging cable. So that's nice. And uh, some sort of a foam pad, I'm assuming. That's probably got to stay in there. All right, now for the star of the show. Isn't that pretty good? Okay. The Mocha Cam itself. Ah, I see. Okay, so this is in the waterproof case now. So let's uh, see if we can open it up. Now I understand. Yes, there it is. So it's got a nice lock. This is the Mocha Cam without the extra battery. So this back is for the cam itself. That means this back would be for the cam with the extra battery, all right? Um, and here is the camera. Get it out of here. I'm not sure how to get it out here. Let's, uh... There we are. Okay. So here, here is the camera itself. It is very small. Uh, looks like on this side we have um, the C-type port for the side screen and then also a micro HDMI cable. So that's there. Uh, we have the magnetic battery back. Um, on this side looks like micro USD as well as a micro USB and then it, I think that might be a reset button there. I don't know for sure. Find out. We have a Wi-Fi signal or a, a symbol here with a light, so I'm assuming that means Wi-Fi is on or off. And then a settings button. And then uh, on top here we have looks to be power and maybe a couple other lights that shows whether it's in video or photo mode. Um, the nice thing about these is, like I said, it is a magnetic battery so dang that's really easy to put that extra battery on there that's really nice that's really really nice and then to put the uh, screen on it goes in here like so and then this swivels so this is the fully loaded still very small um, it's also very light the quality tactically is um, is good it feels like um, aluminum Case, um, or aluminum housing around the screen here uh, as well as well on here it kind of feels more like uh, a plastic a very very durable plastic but a plastic nonetheless um, I don't think that's uh, any kind of game changer so to compare I do have a GoPro Hero 3 white edition so just to compare in size you can see it is quite a bit smaller from a width perspective. Um, from a depth perspective, it's a little bit thicker, right? Uh, and so that's the uh, that's the uh, size comparison. It is very small, and it is a little bit lighter, I think, than the Hero uh, 3. But um, I don't have a Hero 4 to compare it to, but I do have um, some added... Uh, are some additional cameras I'm going to compare it to. I have an ASX 4K cam, and then this phone actually is a Google Pixel that I'm recording this on right now, also has a 4K camera. So I'll be able to do some comparison videos uh, with the various uh, different 4K um, uh, comparisons. So uh, in the case, you know, it is cons a little bit bigger than uh, I was expecting. So if we put it in here, lock it up and this is of course without the additional battery right um, I don't know this doesn't look waterproof to me with that I'm a little leery about that let's take a look here no it is sealed okay it didn't look like it was sealed but it is so um, I see I'll say it. so this mount here looks like it'll go on here or on the case itself, which is nice. 
uh, but once on the once in the case, um, this is a fairly significant device, right? So this case is very large. So to compare, you saw how big it was uh, with the Go compared to the GoPro. Um, I do have the waterproof case here, and this is the this GoPro. I don't have the back screen on here. Um, so I, I can I can put the back screen on and put it in the case here, and it's still a little bit smaller in many ways. So yeah, maybe it's about the same size that way. Maybe a little thicker this way. So you can see it's a. You know, it's still a pretty big camera, but it's nicely protected in there. Um, I don't think we're going to get any water in there, although I am going to put a paper towel in here without the camera, and I'm going to fully submerge it in some water and test it first, because I waited a long time for this camera, and I'd rather not get it wet the first time I try to use it. Um, so that is the unboxing of the Mocha Cam. Um, you know, all in all, it feels like good quality. Um, I fired it up, obviously. I just unboxed it. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll fire this thing up and we'll see what we have. All right, so I've uh, I went ahead and charged all three components. That is the screen, the uh, backpack battery, as well as the battery and the camera itself. I did find out that uh, a couple of things. So these lights here, there's a light there. Uh, there's another light inside here, that little white dot, um, and then there's one in the uh, in the charger here. I believe it was. Uh, it might have been. Uh, yeah, it's, the, it's not a reset button in there. It's actually a light. Those are red when it's charging and green when you have full charge. So that's a uh, that's kind of nice to know as well. Um, I also went ahead and picked up uh, a new. Uh, 128 gig um, micro SD card and uh, so it is important when you're doing 4k recording you want to get at least a v30 100 meg per second uh, card capable card that'll uh, allow you to keep up with the uh, the amount of data that the camera is going to produce uh, so I thought let's go ahead and, and put this together I'll put the card in here so take the micro There. All right, put that in here. Nope. Like the other way. Okay, so we've got that in there. Let's go ahead and fire this up and see what she looks like. So hold down that button. All right, we get the red light there. I did hear a little sound, but it's very faint. Um, okay. So here we have the, uh, the screen is on, which is nice. So let's go ahead and uh, see what kind of options we have. I guess uh, I have to click the M for menu. There we are. Uh, so video resolutions, you can see um, there's some pretty good resolutions here. Um, 3840 by 2160 is uh, 16 by 9, so that's going to be your 4K, 30 frame per second. Um, you know, that's, that's probably what I'll use the most, uh, but we also have the ability to go uh, 1280 by 720 at 120 frames per second. Not sure what super, super view is, but I do know what 16 by 9 is, which is probably what I'll do most of the time. So that's going to enable 120 frames per second. You know, that's going to enable the... Uh, uh, some slow motion. That's pretty good. That's about um, that's about four times the normal recording speed that you would see. So that's good. Uh, and then it goes up from there, right? So we've got uh, some high def, uh, some 1080p high def stuff. We've got some um, uh, some other 4K 25 frame per second super view. Again, not sure what super view is, uh, but we'll find out. Either way, this is probably going to be the one that I stay with. Video quality, super fine, fine and normal. It's pretty standard. Default mode, record mode, and photo mode. 
so there's your different modes. It looks like right now I'm on record mode. That's where I want to leave it. So that's good. Quick capture on or off. I don't know what that means, so I'll find out. EIS. Don't know what that is. Motion detect, video stamp. Probably a time and date, right? Yep, time and date. Yeah. Okay, so we'll leave that off. Time lapse video. This is nice. So you have uh, from one second to every 60 seconds, you can have it snap a shot. That's very nice. Uh, we have loop record. I assume this means. Well, we have one minute to five minutes. So I'm assuming this means that it will break the video file every one minute to five minutes um, with a 4K file. You know, we're looking at uh, size limitations on the card for file sizes anyway, so we'll probably, I'm not sure how long it'll be if I turn it off, but we'll find out. TV mode, probably NTC and PAL, you know, so we'll leave that. Light frequency, auto 50 and 60 hertz, so we'll leave that at auto. Auto shutdown. This is probably, uh, yep, just a timer. Screen off. All right, so this is uh, how long until your screen shuts off, I'm sure. Slow motion. All right, so this is interesting. So if we have the ability to go 120 frames per second and then it has a separate slow motion setting, I'm not sure exactly what that means. So I'll have to find that out. Uh, beep is on, although I'm not hearing it. Microphone volume. So the microphone is off. I would think I'd want that set on so I can hear what I'm recording. So we'll do that. Sharpness, normal. Auto white balance. I'm assuming this will be on and off. Oh, okay, look at that. So we have auto, incandescent, daylight, cloudy, fluorescent, and water. Okay, interesting. So we'll leave this to auto and see what happens. All right, EV value. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, not entirely sure what that's going to be. We'll come back to that. ISO. It's really nice. We have uh, auto, but we have the ability to go up to 1600, which is really kind of nice for this camera. I think that's good. Um, metering. Center, multi, and spot. I'm going to figure out what that is. Time stamp, or time setup, I should say. So, uh, 1021. Yeah, we're going to have to set this, I think. And date format. Month, day, year. That's the one I want. Language is obviously English. Distortion. I don't know what distortion is. Let's see if we can seem to do anything. Bluetooth pairing, Wi-Fi SSID, which is currently set to the alpha. So we'll, we'll come back and set that. Okay, so we don't want to do too much there. Wi-Fi password, format. Let's go ahead and format our card. Okay. Oh, yes. Format successful. All right, that was easy enough. And default settings. This is probably going to reset everything, which I'm not going to do. All right. So, uh, you know, pretty self-explanatory, most of it. There's a couple things I'm going to want to take a look at. Um, I don't know if you can see. Let's go ahead and uh, see if I can focus in there. So there's a few things on the screen, as you can see, that uh, the date and time is wrong. We're a few months off here, uh, which is fine, because today is uh, February 27th of 2018, so we're a little bit off. Uh, but you can see how much space you have left on your uh, micro SD card there, right next to the time. So I've got 116.1 gigs left, so after formatting, you can see the microphone up top is on, the battery levels. Um, we've also got uh, the 16x9x30 by by uh, Superfine and 30 uh, 840x2160 resolution, so you can see what, uh, what your settings are. And you can also see by that little camera that you are 
in video record mode. So uh, I'm assuming now I can either hit uh, the record button at the top here or the record button here. So let's just take a quick video and see what happens. Okay, so you can see at the bottom here, uh, it's not focusing right on, there we are. Uh, you can see at the bottom that the video recording time is there. Nothing else really changed on the screen. So let's go ahead and uh, stop that. You can also see at the top of the camera the red light is blinking. Yeah, maybe you can't see it. That doesn't seem to come through. But this red light right here is blinking, indicating that I am recording. So let's go ahead and stop that. All right. After stopped, it just kicks back to the date and time. Um, this uh, light here is now solid red, so that means uh, I am ready to record, I assume. Uh, all in all, I would say, you know, the only complaint that I really have here is uh, I, I, the sound volume of the beeps, I, I just can't hear it at all. There's, there's really no, and I've been clicking through stuff, I can, I can hear what appears to be maybe a sound, faint, very faint sound trying to come through. Uh, but nothing really that I can that I can hear well. Also, this wheel here seems to be very sticky. Uh, it's not. It, it's like a grinding type of feel. So I'm not overly impressed with that. Um, and I'm not sure how that's going to play out. I'm not thinking I'm going to use this screen a whole lot, anyways. Uh, I'll probably use it some, but uh, uh, most of the time I don't know that I'll use it. So. Hopefully that's uh, not going to be an impedance. Um, other than that, I think we've got uh, a pretty good camera here. Um.